Welcome to the Shreveport Connection with Tommy. This video is going to be about uh, the action that went on with the uh, Jigolo Championship Wrestling, that's JCW, with the former WWE stars. And here's what took place. Uh, JCW Bloody Mania 6 Eye Pay-Per-View from Cave and Rock, Illinois. And the news was sent by uh, Sean Lobbins uh, from ProWrestling.net. The first uh, match was uh, the Ring Riders defeated Ma Pondo and Necro, uh, the Necro Butcher, uh, Rock and Roll, uh, the Rock and Roll, along with the Rock and Roll Express and the Headbangers in a fatal four-way tag match to retain the Jugalo Championship Wrestling tag titles. Pondo and Necro were eliminated by Rock and Roll Express. The Express were eliminated by the Headbangers. And the Headbangers were uh, lastly eliminated by the Ring Riders. The crowd wasn't really hyped up until the Ring Rider Blue got got them up for the hot tag from Ring Rider Red. The pin came right after Ring Rider Red used the hot uh, used the tag titles as a weapon to break up the pin on the Ring Rider Blue from one of the headbangers who had the title as a weapon as well. Match number two, Vampiro returning to action, defeated Officer Colt Cabana. Cabana came out to some booze and got various stuff thrown at him. Cut, uh, Colt cut a promo about how he won the gold medals in Jugalo, uh, Jugalo raping and weed confiscating and Jugalo, uh, Jugalo arresting. Shaggy Two Dope really uh, d despised Cabana and uh, said that he abused his power and that he tricked people when wearing the officer's uniform. Gamano said that uh, when he won, he was going to deport Vampiro back to Canada and then back to Mexico, and then he was going to arrest the entire crowd. Vampiro came out with a, with Evil Dead. Not sure who he, who he was, but the crowd popped to see him. Shaggy and KG said he was a former JCW heavyweight champion. Vampiro cut a, a promo, basically refuting Cabana. Vampiro won after he had hit the super kick on Cabana, and then the Evil Dead hit Cabana with a DDT. And then they had intermission. After two matches, intermission. Okay, Commissioner Violent J came come out to a good pop and said he wanted to thank the crowd for being there. He announced that uh, Corporal Robinson had parted ways with JCW, and his match wasn't happening. The crowd responded with a he effed up chant. And the one legged wrestler, Zach, uh, Zach Gowan, won a nine man battle royal. Hmm. The first two out were Shockwave and Ro uh, uh, Shock Shockwave the Robot and Carlito. Yeah. That's uh, Carlito. The, you know, the apple eating. And that's cool. One of the com uh, commissioners, I believe, uh, Shaggy, asked uh, where Carlito's apple was. Third guy out was X-Pac, who had a lot of energy, and he seemed real excited to be there. Zach Gowan came out next. And fifth out was Bobby Lashley, who looked uh, re uh, really in good really good in uh, good shape and got a small pop. Eugene <coughs> came out at number six to a small pop. He looked a lot better than he did in WWE. He looked a bit younger. Uh, he used some silly string when he came to the ring. Seventh guy out was Chris Masters, who flexed in, uh, at the stage and some, some girls screamed. Eighth guy, uh, eighth guy out was Weed Man, who came out to a small pop shockwave, was the first eliminated. And then right after that, a special just announced. Ninth man came out, the Rude Boy. Then, uh, then UJ was eliminated next. X-Pac was eliminated. Root Boy was eliminated. Chris Masters, Lashley, and Carlito had formed a small alliance and were looking to eliminate Weed Man with Masters going to launch him over the top rope. But Weed Man pushed Carlito into Masters, who not knowingly eliminated uh, Carlito. Masters turned around into shock, which gave Weed Man the time to eliminate him. But that distracted Wee Man, who got eliminated by Lashley. Lashley thought he won, but Gowan, who had been out on the floor, not eliminated, came back in and eventually eliminated Lashley. This was the second time Gowan won the, won the Battle Royal. The other time was last year. The commentary team 
put them over. Gowan came to commentary the, to the commentary table and said, "People said it it couldn't be done, but dreams do come true." And then they had the second intermission. <clears throat> Match number four. John Morrison defeated Matt Hardy with Reby Sky in the corner. And Richie Boy, Briar Wellington in a three-way. So they did substitute uh, for uh, Hurricane Helms, who couldn't make it due to transportation problems. Hardy and Morrison came out to their WWE entrance music. A decent match with the, that's all Morrison and Hardy worked together. In the beginning, Richie Boy spent a lot of time on the floor. The finish came after Morrison. He starts to paint on Richie Boy. After the match, Hardy and Morrison shook hands. They shook hands again, but then Hardy hit the twist of fate on Morrison. KG uh, kept uh, calling Morrison by his real name, John Hennigan, while Shaggy called him John Morrison. There was a small Hardy chant after he, le he left the ring. Morrison got, got a Morrison chant on the way up the ramp. Then they had a third, fourth, a third, or a third intermission going into the fifth match. And you get a tag team of a weird faction. Vader, it's beta time. And then Big Papa Slump, the Booty Daddy, Scott Steiner, the tag team partner. And they defeated Sean Summers and Roderick Street. Summers and Street came out to some booze. This was basically a squash match for Steiner and Vader. The veterans uh, worked really well together. Street and uh, Summer got no offense in at all. There, uh, there were FM, uh, FM Vader and Vader Vom chants. Steiner and Vader were massively over with the crowd. There was a spot I missed, which got the crowd to chant, Holy shit, uh, this was one of my fa uh, favorite matches. I marked out, uh, which was a, which is a term I don't normally use for Steiner, as the reporter was saying. And match number six, Too Tough Tony defeated Congo Kong to retain the JW, uh, JCW Heavyweight Championship. Tony came out to a small pop. He had the title over his shoulder and with two bottles of Bacardi in his hand and gave shots to the crowd. There were some weapon spots. Tony bought a uh, thumbtack bat and went to, to use it on Kong, but Kong uh, swiped it and used it on Tony, which caused tacks to, to stick in his head, which caused some bleeding. Kong dominated a lot of the match. The crowd was really behind Tony and gave him a FM Tony chant. And the finish came after Tony hit his finisher, which was called the Flaming Fist, for the 1 2 3 to retain the JCW Heavyweight Championship. His finisher is. When he pours Bacardi on his hand and lights it on fire and then punches his opponent in the head. Uh, the ring riders, wingman, rude boy, Vampiro, and Violet J came out to c c c congratulate and celebrate with Tony. And then there was a large family chant as the show closed out the show, the pay-per-view. So the reporter says the pay-per-view was good and worth watching. And the show can be purchased for fourteen ninety-five. And that ends up the JCW event with the former WWE stars. Thank you, and y'all have a nice week.